So I went on vacation around four days ago. And it wasn't like crazy. It's not like anything like insane happened. Honestly, not the not the most eventful, but it was a nice vacation. I had a nice time. Um, I went more up north um, to to a, a place called Martha's Vineyard, um, and it was nice. And I could tell you that because I don't live there, so it's not like I'm going to suddenly have thirty thousand people at my doorstep. So that's fun. But it was nice. We get there, and it is just beautiful out. It is raining. It is not not stupendous, but it's fine, honestly. Um, we took a private jet there. It was it was beautiful, not ours. Don't don't worry. Um, family took us. They were like, "Hey, you want to go on vacation?" We said, "Of course." Um, that that's like saying, "Do you want to have a new car?" And you'd be like, "No, I, I actually prefer having a a worse functioning car." I feel like. That would like make my life much better if my car literally broke apart three seconds um, into driving it. That would make my life easier. No, we wanted to go on vacation. So we were like, you know what? We need a break. I need a break. I was like, I'm going to quest off from work for a week. And I can. I mean, I, I still like, I had it perfectly fine. I would still get my bonus at the end of the uh, period and it, life would be good. Um, and we go on and it's like, oh a little rainy anyway but that's not there's no problem here there's no like dramatic thing but we go and it's nice we get to the hotel room it's cool um they have fiji water there i did not expect it it tasted good i didn't think it'd have a taste though that's only thing i did not think that water should really have a taste so i was a little a little bit confused by that, but otherwise everything was nice. Um, we were we were with our um, my 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 nonna, as we call her. Grandma is some other people call. I'm Italian, so I don't know. Bapa de boot I don't. I, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, we we call them a nonna instead of grandma. Um, you might call them a mama or a Grammy or something, but. Nope, we got an Anna. So they were with us along with my sister and my parents and I. So we had, everyone had their place. Um, and me being kind of, you know, not paying attention to anything, I kind of was just like, I'll take whatever we can get. So we go setting up things and we realize, oh, there's only one bed. However, we, we did have a cot, which was good, but no other bed. I didn't feel like sleeping with family. Um, I, I don't know about you, but I move a lot when I sleep. So out of respect and safety of my family, I decided I'm going to not sleep with them. So I look around and I'm like, huh, you know, 99% of every hotel I've been to has had one of those flip up beds where you you go in and it's just the bed underneath a couch. So I was like, I w I wonder if this place has the bed under the couch. Um, so to my surprise, and actually not surprise, but like just complete normalness, there was a bed under the couch. And that was cool. So I slept there. Um, little thing. My dad goes over, pulls, pulls it out, and out comes food and crumbs and, oh God, things I would not like to see coming from a place I would be sleeping. Um, I slept on just the couch, not the pull-out bed that time. Um, I was not ready to prepare... Um, for something of that caliber uh, being around me. So we decided against it. Um, and basically what it went is I slept on the couch and I was all good. Nothing nothing eventful happened there. Um, next day comes, um, we go have breakfast, go out, do things, you know, as a regular like vacation, come back, 
the bed was out. Um, we did not put it out. It was room service, and we were like, "Did did they fix the 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 food in the bed problem?" Um, I was worried because we pulled it out and the food came on the floor, and that floor was still dirty. It was still it was still having crumbs on it, to say the least. Um, so I was a little bit concerned, but no, it, it was all good. There was nothing in it. Um, just. Just, uh, just just a little like fuzz and stuff so that's good we I slept on it thing is I was not comfortable I there was this big bar in it um not like a place you'd go to get drinks no a literal bar um, and that wasn't the comfortable as one would assume um, I don't know if you guys like having a literal bar poking into you, uh, but I don't, so, you know, that was not, like, to my liking, personally, so, I slept on that for every night, and I guess it was cool, um, flash forward to the first night, we have, um, dinner, dinner, every place we went to had amazing dinner, I'm not gonna say anything about that, but first place we go to, um, we're sitting there. It's normal. Nothing crazy, honestly. We're just having a time. Um, and then um, this family of girls and a guy come out yelling um, things like, don't eat here. It's, it's horrible food. You should you should not eat here. Bad screaming, yelling, like like they were the the shit. They, they like they were crazy. Um, and basically how that went is, um, uh, there was only us. Um, four kids. I looked like I was going through a midlife crisis though, but four kids and um. Two, uh, uh, four, like, adult-looking people, and one, one grandmother, so that's the, the extent of what was there. So, nothing, like, that's going to go crazy. We looked like a family who had booked a reservation, not some people that could just leave on their own accord. Um, so, we laugh, um... Because there was no one else. It wasn't like there was 30 other people there. No, it, it was just us. It was just us sitting there um, waiting for us to be seated. Um, and that became the center of all jokes for the rest of the vacation. So, girls, if you, or, and guy, I think, if you're watching this, you were the laughing stock of our vacation. You, you made my, you made the weekend of us so much funnier. We, I, we laughed about it so much. Um, uh, so, yeah, we saw them later that night just walking around town because they hadn't eaten. That was, that was fun. Um, then, you know, all is normal. Next couple of days, beautiful. Had a lovely time. Um, nothing crazy happened. Just, just casual, like, you know, going to a restaurant. A um, couple of boat trips. And, no, then, then, a couple of nights later... Um, we go to this other restaurant, um, and it's really fancy. We, we took a boat there. Fun thing about the boat ride, the boat left without us initially. Um, so we kind of, kind of, sort of didn't have a way to get there. Um, which normally would be a problem. However, there was a nice man who had said, oh, I can take you. Thank you, nice man. We'll probably never see you again. Barely remember your face. But thank you if you're out there watching this. Probably not. I'm, it's not like I'm a crazy big YouTuber or something. Um, so, that was fun. Um, but he took us to the boat where we, we reconnected with them. And we drove... Well, I don't... We boated? We boated all the way to the new location that we had to go to. Um, 
So we get there. And, you know, it's fancy. It's not like anything's bad. Amazed to get there. It was through a hotel. So that was fun to go through. Um, but anyway, we get there. We order our stuff. Menu wasn't that big. Um, but it was, it was a thing. Um, didn't have a sharing fee. Uh, I forgot to mention the first restaurant, we did laugh that, uh, that it had a sharing fee. It had a $12 sharing fee. If you shared something, you would be charged $12. Um, so yeah, that we were like, you know what? We feel good about this. We beautiful view. It was nice. It was turning night. Oh, it was beautiful. Um, and we, we, uh, we go, we sit, we order and we wait for an hour and 45 minutes. That's right. We waited one hour and 45 minutes to get food. Um, now you'd expect it. It must've been amazing food, right? R right. It had to be it. It was mediocre at best for the place we were going to. I was, I wasn't expecting like thousand dollar menu things, but I was expecting it to be really good. I was expecting to be like, oh, you know, it was worth the wait. No, no, I, I was, I came out of that feeling like I, I wasted an hour of my time hour and 30 minutes it was worth 15 minutes of my time at most i'm gonna be honest i really uh really did not did not like that i did not like that uh it just was like kind of just kind of wasn't great because we waited a whole like two hours total to have that but you know not everything can be all fun um so that was the end of that part. Then we go to the t nearby town. It has gingerbread houses there. It's they're like full size gingerbread houses though. It's not like, oh, it's a small ginger. No, it was a literal, full fledged gingerbread house. Um, and that was crazy to say the least. But go to this place, and it's the last day. Um, something I didn't mention was earlier that day. Um, I was offered to stay an extra week along with my family. Um, something you probably don't know about me. I really suck at making decisions to the point where it can give me an anxiety attack. Um, it did. This was a very big decision. Why? You might be asking. It's another day of vacation. You said it before. Well, just because I arranged that didn't mean there wasn't other things. Upcoming was a week of work that wasn't that important. However, if I didn't go this one day of the extension that I would have gone for vacation, I would not get my bonus. And I like my money. So if I'm having that taken away... I don't know how to feel. Also, I kind of said I would be there. Me not being there wouldn't be such a nice thing, I feel, um, personally. Um, to me, I, I think if I make a commitment, I should probably stick to it. Unless, like, I, I reasonably can't. Um, but just, I personally feel like it should, I should stick to my commitments. So... I decided to stay um, after a while of deciding and it was not some easy task because I literally um, had a miserable day the next day and don't get me wrong the place was beautiful we went to Nantucket um, if you don't know that's the island next to it um, and it was beautiful, but it was raining the day we transferred there, which is funny that it was raining the day we started the vacation and now it's the day we're finishing it and it's raining once again. 
Um, but that entire day, I was miserable. I could barely eat. I could barely look up. I was just not having it. I was going through it. Um, but I made the decision. Little thing. I had some commitments I forgot to talk about. Um, cause I said I would like, you know, help my friend with something and I was not going to actually exist that day. That's a little bit of a problem. So I had the last minute say, Hey, I'm not going to be here that day. I can't make it. And they were very cool about it. Thank you to them. Um, but that was one panic attack, but for some reason, I couldn't shake the sickening feeling of feeling like, huh, you aren't there right now. So that entire day leading up to it, I was feeling like, hmm, this doesn't feel happy. Um, I was on vacation and, and I was not, not the happiest of campers. I was just feeling bleh, to say the least. Um, and... As sad as that sounds, um, it was just not a fun t day. However, it did get better. The day goes on, and I find that I'm actually having a bit of fun. Um, and honestly, the next day I had even more fun. Definitely wasn't the most exciting thing. However, it is pretty fun. All right, sorry, I went quiet there. It's like kind of nerve wracking right now. Um, but anyway, it became more and more happy. Um, and I honestly started to enjoy it once I started to relax a bit. It wasn't as exciting. It, it, it also wasn't a place that was for me. Like I honestly didn't kind of like this place. It was just felt like home and I kind of, you know, go on a vacation to get away from home. So it was kind of weird, um, but yeah. But it was, it was overall a good time. Little thing about the second hotel room, because we had to take a boat ride over. Um, and that was fun. At the boat ride over, we, uh, we, we I sat there for a while. But anyway. All right, so I forgot what I was going to say. So that's why there's a cut there, but that's not really matters. Um, but it was just a really nice vacation once I started enjoying it. And yada, yada, yada. You already know that story. I said it. Um, but yeah, once once I started enjoying it, it was a lot of fun. Um, oh yeah, the one thing I did have to... So I just remembered, that's why there was another cut. I was busy processing, remembering things. Um, so... I did, uh, for the vacation, uh, the second hotel room, I stayed and slept entirely in a windowsill. Yeah, I decided it was a good idea to go and rest my weary eyes on the windowsill. Um, because, you know, there was only one bed in this room. Beautiful room, though, honestly. 10 out of 10. Um, but there was only one bed, and it could only fit two people, um, to me. I didn't want to be squished in the middle or anything like that. Not for me. Sorry, champ. Not happening. Um, but there was only room. So I slept in a windowsill sort of thing. Um, kind of just more of a window alcove, though. So I wouldn't say windowsill, but um, you basically, I just slept there. And we kind of had to take it away every, every day. So they didn't think I was sleeping in a windowsill because I feel like that would kind of be a little bit like oh, our guests aren't satisfied with with this, so, wow. So I, I, we didn't want to put up that type of thing, so we kind of just had to re undo it and redo it every day. Um, but genuinely, nice bed, honestly. I It was comfortable. Um, they had a little cushion, um, so that was comfortable. That was a comfortable part. Um, and... Just a 10 out of 10 uh, stay because uh, 
it was just a very comfortable bed. I, I got it. Got to give it to them. Um, but on the fl uh, we, we we were going to take another flight back. Um, so we could go in like you know, go home. Um, nothing crazy happened. However, it it was scheduled for I think like eight in the morning. So we had to get up, get ready, go to the airport on the matter of around 45 minutes um, after waking up. Lucky for me, I slept terribly this entire vacation, um, sadly. Um, and that might sound bad, but looking back, it was a really good thing that I did. Otherwise, I might have not been able to do anything about that um but i woke up on time i got on the plane there was a plane ride from one island to the next um so that was like a 10 minute flight which we found funny but overall it was a great vacation i really enjoyed it and um just had a lot of fun um but yeah that's pretty much all about my vacation that i went on uh, that was interesting. I, I did go to a little town and eat food there, but I don't really think you want to hear about me eating food. Um, so, yeah, this is the first video on this channel that is just me doing what I want to do and not editing for a whole 10 hours. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's, it's, there's going to be a video on the other channel that's going to have more stuff, but enjoy this one while it lasts. Uh, so... Yeah, more content like this at times. I don't know when, but times. So, yeah. Have a great day. See ya.